Dear students, let us talk about trigonometry with the help of a unit circle. We know that a unit circle is nothing but a circle with radius 1 unit. Look at the x-axis and y-axis. The points are plotted 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc. up to 1. That is the radius of the circle. And look at the green line corresponding to a green ball. And you can see there is an angle theta between the green line and uh, the x-axis. Let's always measure angle theta from the x-axis in the counterclockwise direction or in anti-clockwise direction. Look at the different values of theta. We can measure theta, the angle theta in degrees or we can measure it based on the distance traveled around the circle. That is we will call the, the radian measure. If you travel all around the circle, the distance traveled by is 2 pi r, that is the circumference of the circle. Here it is 2 pi into 1, that is 2 pi radian. Then look at the different uh, radian measure corresponding to the different angles. Here you can see 180 degree corresponding uh, pi radian and pi by 2 radian corresponding to 90 degree and uh, the angle to pi radian corresponding to 360 degree also. For any point on the circle, the green ball has its own x coordinate and uh, a corresponding y coordinate. Look at this right triangle. Since the angle is theta and the hypotenuse is one unit, the sides of this right triangle will be cos theta and the sine theta. That is, the corresponding x coordinate of our green wall will be cos theta and y coordinate will be sin theta. Then now you can see the different values of x coordinate of our green wall. That means the different values of cos theta. Look at this. The different values of cos theta corresponding to the different values of angles theta. That means it can be decimal. It can be a negative number, it can be 0 and finally it can be the value 1. Look at this, the value 1. Now we can discuss about the y coordinate. We know that for any point on this circle, the y coordinate will be equal to the sine theta. And now look at the different values of sine theta corresponding to the different angles theta. You can see the values of x coordinate and y coordinate here. The values of y, x coordinate and y coordinate will be always in between minus 1 and 1. That means we can conclude that the values of sine theta and cos theta is always in between minus 1 and 1. Thank you.